In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing Breadboard and creating your first experiment. After you've downloaded Breadboard from breadboard.yale.edu, extract the archive and copy it to a location where you have write privileges. For instance, your home directory. To launch Breadboard, we're going to open the terminal. In Windows, this would be a command prompt, and in Linux, this would be a shell. If you're not familiar with the terminal, don't panic. I'll walk you through it. First, we're going to change directory to the breadboard directory. So that's cd space br, and typing the tab key will autocomplete the rest of the directory name. Hit enter, and now you're inside of the breadboard directory. Now to launch breadboard, we're going to type dot forward slash br, and then hit tab again to autocomplete breadboard.sh. If you hit enter, breadboard will launch. Now we're going to go to our browser. In the browser's address bar, type localhost colon 9000. You'll be brought to a web page where you can create the first user for Breadboard. Enter your email address, a password, and confirm the password. Breadboard will automatically log you in. You can change the password by clicking on the email address here. You can see that Breadboard comes with an example public goods game. But we're going to create a new experiment. To create a new experiment, click the plus button here. You can create a default blank experiment, or you can copy any existing experiment. In this case, we'll create a default experiment, and we'll call it demo. Now that you've created an experiment, you're ready to start using Breadboard.